In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the brand new Google Assignments integration in Brightspace. So what we're going to focus on here is adding Google Assignments to the content area because that is the easiest place to get started with Google Assignments and to add a Google Assignment to your course shell. You can add Google Assignments in other places as well, but I will show that in a different video. So what we're going to do, this is my teacher view, is we're going to go to our content. And underneath content, if you haven't created a unit yet, you're going to create a new unit. So I'm just going to call this unit one. We're going to make sure it's visible and click save. And then once I've got a unit there, I can create a new Google assignment. So I'm going to go to add existing and then more. And from here, I'm going to choose Google Assignments. Now, you'll also notice there's this Google File Embed. That's also a new feature that allows you to embed Google Drive files into your Brightspace course shell, but I'll show that again in a different video. So we're going to click on Google Assignments. And the first time that you do this, you will have to link your course. So you're going to click on Link. What that's going to do is bring up a pop-up window that asks for some permissions. So this just means that Assignments is going to create a folder in your Google Drive and it's going to store any of the relevant docs or templates created through Google Assignments in your Drive. So you're going to click on Link. And this is only done the first time that you use Google Assignments in Brightspace. So it does take a minute. We're just going to give it a minute. Once it's done that, then what we do is we get the assignments view. And so this looks very similar to the view that you would see in Google Classroom. What you're going to do is total points. You're going to give it a, a grade. You can add a due date here. So let's maybe choose a due date for next week. You can add a time, click done. You do have to give it a title. So let's call this assignment one. And then you can include instructions. So please complete the template and submit. You can also, similar to Google Classroom, add a rubric. So you can create one. You can reuse a rubric from another course, or you can import from Sheets. You can also turn on plagiarism checking in here if you choose to do so. And then the most important part here is this files. So you do want to come in here if you have a template and attach it to your assignment. So we're going to click on attach. That's going to bring up our Google Drive. Now by default, it does default to your recent files, but you can also go to my drive, you can upload, or you can go to your shared drives. So I'm just going to choose this KWL chart here as my template, and I'm going to add it. So what this does is it will create a copy for each student that you have. Right now, this is the only option that you can do. So it does create that template and then distributes that template to every student in your course. When you're done with that, you're going to click on create. And it does again take a couple of seconds here to do that, but it's going to create that assignment and embed it directly into your Brightspace course shell in your content area. So if we click on the assignment here, you know it's a Google assignment because it's got this um, icon right here. And then it embeds that directly into your Brightspace course shell. So you can see the points, you can see the due date, you can see whether you've got the plagiarism checker on and your file. And then when students start to open and, and submit their files, you will also see them here. By default, it's set for zero submitted, zero returned, but I'm going to show you from the student view in a minute what that looks like. You can also edit your instructions here. At the moment, 
it appears that there is a little bit of a bug here and things aren't saving properly, but hopefully that gets fixed shortly. And then you can also go to the three dots menu here and manage the people. So if you have a student who drops your course, you can then go into the manage people and remove them from your Google assignments class as well. You do have to do that manually. It's not automated through the Brightspace integration. So what this is going to do is it's going to create a folder in your Google Drive called Assignments. You definitely don't want to delete that because that is where you're getting the sync from Google Assignments to your Google Drive. Now, what I want to do is I want to show this to you from the student view, because at the moment we have no students who have clicked on this assignment. So I'm going to flick, flip over to a demo account and show you from that view. So this is the course from the student view. If I go into the content and I go to the assignment, your students will first have to link their account through Google assignments as well, the very first time. So you want to make sure that you tell them to make sure this is their HDSB account. And if not, they can switch the account here. They're going to click on link. It's going to bring up a very similar window to what you had to do to accept the permissions here. So you're going to click on link. And that does take, again, a minute to link as well. Once they've done that, then this is the view that your students will see for those Google assignments. So they can click on open to attach and submit, or they could click on their file right here. I do want to show you this open to attach and submit though. So I'm going to click there. And then in this window, what your students will see is they'll see again, the points, they'll see the due date, they'll see their template file, but then they could also go in and add files here from their own Google drive or they can go in and create a new doc, a sheet, or a slide. So that's useful if they want to add any additional files to their submission. Now, when they click on the file itself, they're gonna come in here and enter in the information that they need to. And then once they've finished working on their template, now you do see it does name it very similar to the way that Google Classroom names assignments. It will put the student's name here first, followed by the name of the template. So that is very nice. But then they would need to come back to their assignment and then click on the submit button. So we're just gonna submit that. They click on there and then they have to click on submit again. And that's going to submit their Google assignment. And so once that's submitted, they get this nice window here that says you're all set, your assignment submitted and ready for your instructor to review. They can also unsubmit it here if they wanted to make any additional changes and then go back and resubmit if they wanted to do that there. So I'm also just gonna come back to their Brightspace course shell. And if we refresh it here, then what you see is the same kind of window. So you can see they're all set, it's being submitted, and they could come back in here if they wanted to unsubmit and resubmit some stuff. So let's go back now into the teacher account to see what we see in here. I'm just gonna refresh my screen so that I get any new updates. And then now what you can see is you can see that one has been submitted and zero have been returned. So you'll get a list of your students as well as their status on the side here. If I click on the student now, that's gonna take me into the marking window. So again, this is very much like the Google Classroom experience. You can come in here and add comments, You can also come in here and add a mark. So let's give them 18. We can also add in some overall feedback. Okay. If you also wanted to use some of your comment banks, those are pulled over from Google Classroom. So you don't have to start from scratch. And so you can go in and copy those and paste them into your comments as well. 
If you had multiple students here, you could go back and forth between the students as well to complete all of your marking. When you're finished here, you can return to just the student, or if you click on the drop down arrow at the side, you can return multiple submissions. So if you're going through and marking multiple ones, then you can return them all in one shot. So I'm gonna click on return, and I'm gonna return this to my student. Okay, so now that's returned, you can come back to Brightspace here. And so I'm just gonna refresh again to show you what that looks like now that we've returned that assignment. So in Brightspace in the teacher view, you can see the mark that you gave them. You can also see now that you have zero submitted and one returned. And if you clicked on the student's name again, it would take you back into that marking window. Now, just to come full circle, let's go back to the student view to see what they see. So I'm just going to refresh this again so that we can see what their returned work looks like. So when they get returned work, what they're gonna see is they're gonna see their grade. They're going to see their work. They can also see if you've left comments in their work, how many comments you have left for them, as well as their overall feedback. And then they can come back in here and if needed, they could make changes. They could do maybe some fixing up or whatever they need to do. And they can also resubmit their work. So you get that workflow, that back and forth workflow between yourself as the instructor and the student. So the last thing I just want to show you quickly in this video is if you go to the Google Drive, um, if I go into the student view, what you'll see now is that there is a folder similar to the classroom folder, but now it's called assignments that is created. And so it's going to create a folder in here for every single course that you link to Brightspace. So if I come into the SCH4U1 folder, that was the course that I created that assignment, you can see those files that are related there. You can also see some of the copies, okay? So you wanna make sure that you tell your students not to mess with or delete this folder because it is important for that integration. If you come back over to the teacher view, um, you also get an assignments folder. And if we go in there and go into the teacher side, what you'll see is the assignments. So you could come in here and look at every single one of your students' assignments this way, or you also get the templates folder. So similar to Google Classroom, this is where your templates live. So again, as a teacher, you definitely do not want to mess with the assignments folder because that can break the integration between Brightspace and your Google Drive. So hopefully that's given you um, a great sort of firsthand look at how to set up Google assignments in your content area. I'm gonna create a couple more videos where I'm gonna show you how to add Google assignments to other places in your Brightspace course shell, as well as a student only view video so that you can share that out with your students.